Hey everyone, it's Heather with Tiller here. In this video, I'm going to talk through how to set up your categories in the foundation template for Google Sheets, a quick demo of using AutoCAD to help you automate the categorization of your transactions, and show you just how powerful Tiller is for letting you control your categories like never before. So when you're first starting out in the foundation template, on the category sheet, this is where you're gonna to wanna to customize the list. We give you some example categories, but these are just to get you thinking. You don't have to use our categories. We're not boxing you in. You can choose the category list that makes sense for your financial life. For any of the categories that you don't like or don't wanna use, you can just simply type over them. You can also add new categories to the bottom of the list. All categories should have a group and a type. You can think about the group as the larger bucket. You can see here I have a discretionary group and then there's a number of categories that fall into that discretionary group. So this category I just added down here, I need to apply a group. That's why I'm getting that yellow notification there. So I'll just say this is gonna be my wellness group. All categories should also have a type assigned, income, expense, or transfer. Transfers are generally things like a credit card payment or money moving between accounts. So just make sure that you have unique categories here, no duplicates. Once again, overwrite any that you don't like. You can just type right over them. Come up with your own category list here or just use our example categories. We recommend that you start simple. Don't overthink it. You can always change it later. So that's the first step is coming up with your category list based on your financial situation. Categorizing transactions is super easy. You can use the drop down menu here in the transaction sheet to categorize your transactions manually. So, this might be, let's say, charity, it's a donation. This is a credit card payment, so this might be transfer. You can start typing the first few letters of a category and it will narrow the list for you. We don't automatically categorize transactions for you out of the box because we can't assume to know the intent of your spending. If you go to Costco, it might be groceries, it might be household, we're not gonna guess. A lot of tools do that and they get it wrong and that's really frustrating. So we give you the power to categorize based on the intent of your spending. Now, if you want some help categorizing transactions, we do offer a tool called AutoCAD, which you can find in the Tiller Money Feeds add-on. So if you open the add-ons menu here at the top, choose Tiller Money Feeds and either launch or open sidebar, you'll see an option here in the sidebar for AutoCAD. So when you click AutoCAD, it's gonna prompt you to install AutoCAD, which is just gonna add a new sheet to your Google Sheet, a tab along the bottom. This is where you can come up with your own customized rule set for how you want your transactions categorized. We start you off with one example rule just to kind of get you thinking. You can also use some of the options here in the sidebar to help you build rules. One cool feature is the rules from past 90 days. If you click this, it's gonna scan your transactions and try to find things that are consistent where you have multiple transactions. So for example, Nature Conservancy, that's one that I, donation that I make every month because I already had charity assigned in uh, one of the transactions, it's going ahead and picking that category for me. Same thing with the automatic payment. Whereas this Whole Foods one, it's attaching the store number. Maybe I want to make this a little bit more generic so it would pick up more than one Whole Foods besides just that one store and then I can choose groceries because that's the category I'd like to have it assign. From there, I can click create and run. And this is just gonna help me figure out how to build rules. The basics of it are that it allows you to define description criteria. In this case, if the description contains the words nature conservancy, categorize as charity. So that's the basic rule set structure. If we head back to our transaction sheet, we can see that it got most of the transactions that were in our transaction sheet here. So this can be a really helpful way to get through that categorization step using AutoCAD to build your own rules. Right now, we just have really simple rules just using the description criteria from the transaction sheet. We can build more advanced rules if we'd like using other criteria like the account, if it contains certain keywords, the institution, even using amount minimum and maximums to help us get really granular with our rules if we wanna do that. Just remember, if you create more granular rules, you're gonna to wanna to put those at the top of the list in the AutoCAD sheet. You can click a row and drag it up or down to rearrange the order. AutoCAD does process the rules in a top-down order, so the more granular specific rules, you'll want those to be closer to the top of the list. AutoCAD can also automatically categorize transactions for you 
when you click fill sheets to, to fill your sheet with new transaction data if you toggle on this auto run on update setting. So just keep that in mind. If you want AutoCAD to help you automate the categorization step, turn on auto run on update. And if any of your transactions match a rule, they will be categorized as soon as they make it into your sheet. That's how powerful Tiller is for allowing you to control your categories like never before. We let you build your own category list here on the category sheet and customize it. Come up with a structure that makes sense for you, whether it's for your household, for your business, when you have shared accounts, anything that you need as far as categories go, you can build it right into your category sheet. It's super simple to categorize transactions manually and AutoCAD powers it up to automate that process for you.